Welcome out once again to the beautiful Rawls course here on the campus of Texas Tech University. You're looking at a, uh, a mere mortal and, and a god now, now that this man has gone out to Pebble Beach and shot a 61 during the Carmel Cup. You go 69, 61, 67, and you win the individual title. This is Hurley Long, a senior on the Texas Tech men's golf team, but you know that already because you've seen all the stuff on social media. I'll ask you before you tee off and show us this beautiful hole, what has this been like since you shot that 61 and got the course record? Oh, it's been really surreal. I mean, uh, right after the round, uh, Finn, the guy that hosts the tournament, came up to me and told me I thought it was to tie the record. To find out I broke it was amazing. Uh, all the support I've gotten, all the messages, it's been really surreal, a huge honor, honestly. All right, you told us how you did it. Show us how to do it. Okay, this part yeah. three, beautiful hole. Walk us through it as far as what you're gonna what what, what you're gonna use as far as club and, yeah. and what you're thinking. Well, it's 157 yards. Um, it plays about a yard uphill, so we're looking at 158. Um, it's fairly windy, not too bad for Lubbock conditions. <laughs> so uh, I'm looking at hitting about a 175 shot. Um, I like to swing it easy in the wind, so I'm gonna hit like a three quarter seven iron. All right, Hurley, you shot that in your second round. You know, like I said, 69, 61, 67 to win the individual title. The 61's a whole lot different than that 67. When did you realize maybe, was it in the middle of the round? Was it there at the end uh, that, that you were on the precipice of history? Well, I hold a bunker shot for Eagle on six to put me six under through six. And I knew I was playing well, I knew I was putting well. Uh, I just had to get through the next few holes because those are some difficult holes. Um, and then really when uh, I kept pouring in 10 and 12 footers for birdies, got to seven, eight, nine. It really became real on 16 green when the caddies behind me started whispering. They thought I couldn't hear them. They're like, uh, what is it? Is it a 10 or 11 under? So I just figured it was 11 and I wanted to go for it. And then I drained a 45 footer on 17. That was huge. And that really, really, at that point it became obvious, all right, we're going for this. Well, you had more work to do after you shot that 61 yeah. because clearly the, everybody was playing well in that field and you had to birdie in your final round, I believe 11, 13, 15, and 18, yeah. just to get in a playoff yeah. against a gentleman from Oklahoma State. Yeah. And then you were able to win it in the first playoff hole with a par and he bogeyed. Did you feel like maybe you had used up all of your good fortune in that second round and then figured out you still had it in the third one? No, uh, I was feeling good, you know. I'd worked on my mental game, and uh, similarly to before the tournament, I thought about what I needed to do before the final round, what frame of mind I need to get in. And I did it, and it worked for me, you know. I stayed patient, but at the same time, I knew I wanted to do something special. I wanted to play well, and uh, I really elevated my standards and uh, got rid of some limiting beliefs, and that helped me a lot. Um, so I'm glad it turned out the way it did, but uh, Hayden played amazing. All right, let's see what you got left. All right. You take a look at this dead into the wind. Yep. And of course, because you can shoot a 61 at Pebble Beach, you have a beautiful shot here and a makeable putt left yeah. to get your birdie. Oh, we've got a downhill putt. Um, wind's with me, so it's gonna be a fast putt that's gonna roll out quite a bit. Um, not a putt you wanna be super aggressive on, but certainly a putt I wanna I want to make in the best case. Um, looks like some right to left in it. Wow. Man. Didn't listen to myself. <laughs> done this a few times no bogeys yet. yeah I know. thank I you mean, for saving I'm glad that. I made that, was, that, yeah. <laughs> that was close <laughs> it's a weird question to ask because you have your whole senior year left but after you shoot 61 at Pebble Beach I, I feel like I gotta ask what, what is next I mean what what do you want to do in your game what sure. can you get better at sure. what are your accomplishments that you're looking for you know uh, sometimes I feel like it doesn't have to be next you know it's not gonna be a 61 every time but to me it's important to um, become a better player, a better person. There's certainly some things I want to change in my game, but also mentally I want to learn. And uh, that's where the focus is this year, really. I think the results will be a result of that, but uh, there's not something that I can say that 
now I want to shoot 58 next week because Jim Furyk did it. No, that's not what I'm like. I want to keep getting better, and uh, if I do that, um, I think the future should be at least fairly bright. <laughs> we appreciate your time, man. Thank you. Nice part. That's Hurley Long. He owns the course record at Pebble Beach. That's right, Pebble Beach. For more information on Texas Tech men's golf, make sure to follow at Texas Tech men's golf on Twitter and head to texastech.com for all other information. For Hurley, I'm Adam Doyle.